hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to paint on my new sketchbook i ordered this online um, locally and this is a customized sketchbook so i chose the color of the cover and then the design so it's really cute and on the inside the paper is Bao Hong artist grade it's a uh, cold press paper so it's actually really nice and the size is also cute it's just 7.5 by 5.5 inches so i think it's like a perfect size so i'm thinking where to paint first this is the first page um i wanted to paint here but this is the back side of the paper i'm thinking of um painting on this side so this is the front side of the paper you can see more texture i realized that bao hong artist grade actually has more texture compared to arches paper all right so let's try to paint okay so before we start i'm just going to quickly show you my setup here so i'm using my canvas lamp and this is my favorite content creation tool because i use this all the time whenever i'm filming just put my phone here and i can easily move the angles for filming i can also twist this knob to move it at a different angle all right so it looks like this so i can film from the side then i can film um, on a top view angle so it's really really nice and if you are um, looking for a tripod i don't know how you call this lamp anymore but if you're looking to film your painting videos or other stuff this is like a nice equipment to have yeah it's a little bit pricey but for me it's really worth it if you film a lot of videos just like me or if you just want to reward yourself all right so that's it let's move on to the video and before we start I'm just gonna drop some water in my pan to keep them moist so that when i'm ready to paint it's going to be easy to pick up the pigment so if you have a spray bottle that would be easier but i don't have a spray bottle i have to get one soon okay i'm thinking of painting some pink florals so this is from instagram from this account page it's really nice and let's try it out. I grab some permanent rose and maybe paint um, a rose here. Okay. Just paint some C curves all around. Let's rinse my brush. So far, the paper looks good. So it's holding up really well on wet paint. Just add some darker color maybe here in the center. In some areas, just drop some paint. So just wanted to um, experiment and just keep it loose and then i'm thinking of using this dagger brush let's grab some sap green maybe a little bit of brown so this is a nice dagger brush it's from the silver brush uh, brand Just add some leaves. I don't know why this paper feels a bit more rough than the usual bao hong that I use. But it has a nice texture, you can see. 
I love what's happening here. It's just blending so nice. Let's add some more paint. Then maybe paint some four petal flowers. Just trying to follow the reference photo. Add some green. Add some more pink. So the color I'm using here is brilliant pink. So it's a nice like pastel pink color. So if you wanna mix your pinks, you can get this color. It's like an instant baby pink color. You can grab some more green. So maybe I'm gonna grab some green here. I use this brush it's a nice brush to like add some drama or movement to your painting because it just instantly creates this nice like expressive stroke because of the shape of the brush grab some more brown You can just press it and you'll be able to create a nice like leaf. Maybe I'll use this brush to add some more pink flowers right here. This is green. Oh, sorry about that. This is green gold. So it's a nice pop of color to this page. You can add some small buds. And maybe some more pinks right here. Do some smaller buds peeking here. Cool. This is just a nice brush. Okay. Right, so I can also add maybe like a second layer here using an, a dagger brush. But this is actually still a little bit wet. It's best to add the second layer when the flower is dry but I'm a little impatient right now so we're gonna have to work with this and also my son is again waiting for me <laughs> right right so maybe I want to add some yellow flowers just small buds And then we're gonna use this size two round brush just to add some more details. Alright, so I'm gonna use my small brush to add 
Could be some details here. So I do have a social class coming out. Um, all about using this small round brush. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And we're gonna make a dainty wreath using a smaller brushes. So I hope you can check it out. Okay, so I think we can also add maybe some small details here. Maybe add some lines. You can see this flower is still wet. That's okay. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. It's a quick floral painting and I really enjoyed painting on the sketchbook. So I'm excited to fill this with so many florals. So yeah, don't forget to check out my Skillshare classes if you want to learn more about loose floral style. And you'll get a one month free trial if you're a new student. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye!